When I decided to teach myself how to code, what I didn't expect was to get good at a whole lot of other things that were non-programming related. Number one was design. You know, you have the UI UX designers and they come in and make everything beautiful. But when you are doing it all by yourself, it turns out you actually get good at design. And before I came into programming, you know, you kind of look at a design resource or like a, a, a poster or a website and you're like, yeah, that looks cool, but I could totally make that myself. Even a recipe book, you look at a recipe book and you're like, that's pretty straightforward. They just have some text on the page, some pretty images. You try to make one and I guarantee you it will not be that straightforward. Design, there is a real art to design. And when I started, one of the best representations of my design ability, I think, is my thumbnails. And when I first got into it, my thumbnails on this YouTube channel were abhorrent. They were not very pleasant. And consequently, I didn't have a great click through. But over time, there was a marked improvement in my ability to design cool things. And that was websites, to be fair, I probably built surplus or in excess of a hundred different websites with different designs and everything. And so all of that practice and revision and learning from other people and incorporating it into your own things and adapting it makes for some serious design abilities to the point that I now make resources. I'm literally making a book at the moment full of resources like mental health related journaling stuff, but it's cool to have that design ability because now I can make resources that look pretty. But boy, if I didn't have that experience, that would be devastatingly challenging, even though on surface level, if you don't have the experience, maybe it looks easy. Thing, skill number two, this may be less of a skill and just something that I've really enjoyed knowing more about, even though that wasn't necessarily my intention, is the internet. Before I started learning to code, the internet was like, it just existed. And I didn't really question it too much. You know, you go on your phone, you open a browser, you go on, on, on your computer, you open up a website, you play a video game, you have a call over the internet. When I learned to code, you know, I started asking myself the questions, what even is the internet? Do I just magically have everything on my device? Does it pull it out of thin air? Where does the internet exist? Is it, is it around me right now? Is it a satellite? What is the internet? And you know, other questions I had is like, what does it mean to be connected? When you're on a mobile device and you connect to a 4G or a 5G network, or you plug in an ethernet port, or you know, you connect to the local Wi-Fi, what are you actually connecting to? These are the questions that I had and I just had no idea and I just took it for granted. And learning how to make websites, initially, you actually don't need to know that much about the internet. You kind of just like, oh, this is how you put it. You put your website on the internet by doing this. But what does that actually mean? If you deploy a website, well, what you're actually doing is giving someone your code, giving them an address where you can access that code. And then when someone types in the URL, you send a request over to that address, that metaphysical address of something that's connected to a network asking for that information and then it fetches it back, it sends it back over the internet and then your browser, in the case of a website, knows how to register, receive that information and make it look pretty in the form of something that you interact with that we call a website. And I had no idea how that process worked and I think learning about it, you know, it's something that is ubiquitous, it's everywhere, we all interact with it and I think it's good to have an understanding of how it works and it's something that has become much more apparent to me. And the same goes for hardware. You know, you write in a programming language, if you're at a high level programming language, that's kind of Englishy, Englishy syntax. It almost makes sense just to look at it. You can kind of figure it out versus a low level programming language that's machine friendly. Learning how to interact with hardware, how hardware works together to deliver an application or run processes is a really important knowledge set in the modern age and that's something that I'm glad I have become more familiar with and thing number three there are a bunch of things honestly there's so many things I could probably put down for thing number three but the one I've chosen is learning how to teach yourself something without having to sign up for a course or pay for a resource or get a certificate or enroll in a university being a programmer 90% of being a programmer is being given a problem and being able to throw yourself at it without any hesitation, just absolutely diving headfirst into that problem and feeling confident enough to eventually deliver a solution, even if it's something that's totally unfamiliar to you. 
And to be able to do that, you need to be able to approach an unfamiliar situation. You need to be able to resource yourself for the information that you will eventually need to solve the problem. You need to be able to make heads or tails of the information that you're provided with because, you know, a lot of it's going to be rubbish. And then you need to be able to take that information and apply it in a new context to your own problem until you have an ultimate solution. And that process of starting off with no experience, learning a little bit, researching, finding out more, and then getting an understanding of it and then being able to apply it to a new context is something that you do every day as a programmer. You know, the number of times I encounter something brand new that I've never touched before, but I'm not afraid of that. I don't let that stop me because a lot of people, they're like, yeah, nah, that's not my skill set. I'm not going to give that a shot because I'll just fail before I've even started. Learning how to program, you just have to completely throw that mentality to the wayside and you just have to learn to dive on into new unexplored unfamiliar territory and experiences and knowledge and skill sets and just know that you have to start at the beginning but if you just keep trying keep showing up and learning more and more then you can teach yourself pretty much anything and so it started off with teaching myself programming but then it's software then it's different tech then it's everything else that I could ever want to know about and having a plan of how I'm going to approach that and knowing how to resource myself with the information and stuff that I need to be able to do it and applying that to every problem that I come across being able to learn something new solve my problems is such a valuable skill set you know they say good software developers just are really good at using Google and it's so true because Google has all the knowledge you could ever want and learning how to effectively look it up search for what you are Without knowing what you want, finding what you need, that is the art. That is the art right there. And that's what comes with teaching yourself how to code and being a programmer.